Good afternoon, everyone. Here we are, the Three Stooges again. Uh, so, Father Francis, Father Sergio, and myself, uh, we wish all of you happy and blessed Easter. And uh, we just want to do a little reflection on Divine Mercy Sunday, which we celebrate the second Sunday of Easter. And uh, when I, I hear Divine Mercy, I, I, I didn't know what was all about. But the, what I learned when I read the, the pamphlet is about the ABC of Divine Mercy, which is not the ABC of Michael Jackson, is ABC of prayer. Uh, God is so merciful and gives us another opportunity with this devotion to get closer to him, to take advantage of his love and mercy, and, uh, and to profit for our salvation. So the A stand for ask for mercy. We're all sinners. We need salvation, we need redemption, we need forgiveness. With Jesus gained for us, dying on the cross and rising again. He is alive, he forgave our sins. So we need to ask for mercy. And for sure, he will forgive us. As he said, forgive them because they do not know what they are doing. So ask for mercy. B stands for being merciful. As the Father has been merciful to us, or when we pray at the Our Father, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So be merciful, be compassionate. This time of uh, distancing, uh, social distancing, or shelter in place, be merciful to each other. And uh, be compassionate. And C stands for completely trust in God's mercy and, and put yourself in God's hands, knowing that He will forgive you. The mercy of God is there. But trust in His love and His mercy in His power. And I just would like to ask prayers from all of you for a friend of mine. He was waiting for heart transplant. He was called yesterday evening. This is, we have a matching heart for you. Mm -hmm. So I talked to them in the night, and, and it's easy for me because I'm not in the situation. So you gotta trust you are in the hands of God. And, and, uh, and his wife says, I'm a little scared, Father. It's normal. But Jesus, the divine mercy, invites us completely trust in him. So I would like to ask a prayer for that friend of mine. But also, let us, all of us, completely trust in God's mercy, love, power, and his compassion. God bless you all. Thank you, Father Francisco. Uh, happy Easter to all of you. I'd like to follow up, uh, Father Francisco, the idea of uh, uh, Mercy Sunday, the Sunday of Divine Mercy. And uh, I believe that many times we see things, uh, but we don't know what they mean, uh, what they meant. Uh, I would like just to make a reference to two things here, you know, the two uh, like rays that are coming from the heart of Jesus. One is red and one is white and blue. The symbol of the, the blood of Jesus Christ, the, when Jesus Christ died, uh, from his side, uh, we have a, a blood and, and water. And for us, those are the symbol of, of the Eucharist, this uh, baptism. Especially in this time we're living, you know, uh, the possibility to participate physically in the Eucharist to receive Jesus Christ is something that many of you have said that you, you miss the most. Uh, but we still have uh, one of the sacraments that we all share, that is the sacrament of baptism, through which we are all members of the, the same church, we are all together. Then uh, this is the the image that we have in the church, in the little chapel, when you enter to the left, I just stole the image from there for a couple of hours. And uh, but any time that you, when you, when we come back to the church, you will remember that these two things are the things that Jesus Christ gave to us. The things that are important in our life: baptism and the promise that we make in our baptism, and most especially the Eucharist, the most beautiful gift that Jesus Christ gave to us that he gave to us his blood and his body. Uh, let us 
then in this Sunday, trust in the mercy of God that He will help us to renew our baptismal promises and He will give us the strength and the purity that we need in order to be united with Him in the Eucharist. Happy Easter! Brothers and sisters, not just um, with the Divine Mercy Sunday as we celebrate this, we trust in God's mercy, but let us also not forget that we have just celebrated Easter Sunday last weekend, and in the weeks to come, we will continue to celebrate Easter. So I think that one of the best um, virtues that we can um, practice with our trust in God's mercy is also joy, the, the joy of Easter. Maybe we will ask, how can we find joy in this extended shelter in place, you know, until uh, first week of May, and we still don't know until when it will be extended, but how can we find joy in the midst of this uh, continuous um, shelter in place? How can we find joy when some of our members of the family lost jobs? How can we find joy when we see in the news that there are people getting infected or some people who are dying? But I believe that the joy of Easter does not mean this, that we don't have any problems. And I think that's also the joy that Christ has taught us, that you know, we, we know joy, we believe that we can be joyful, but it does not mean that it does not come with problems. In the Gospels that we have heard the last few days, we saw the, the disciples of Jesus, they were grieving because they lost Jesus. But Jesus showed them that he, you know, he was able to rise up again and he appeared to them. He appeared to them showing his wounds. He appeared to them giving them the greeting, peace be with you. And the disciples at first, you know, did not believe they were in fact afraid. But they saw Jesus, they witnessed Jesus, and they finally believed that Jesus is risen. So it came to them as a surprise. So... I invite you also to let the joy of Easter surprise you, right? We don't know what's um, up for us in the next few weeks, but there's one thing that is for sure. Something that Jesus Christ um, proved in, you know, his life to his disciples that he's there in the midst of, you know, their grieving, in the midst of their uncertainty and fear. He's also in our midst, in, even in our own uncertainty. He will surprise us with, you know, um, how we can go above this pandemic. And for sure, He is always here for us and we will be able to rise up um, from this pandemic. God bless you all and have a joyful and trusting Easter to all of you. Thank you, Father Francis, Father Francisco, and thanks each one of you for, you know, for the support of uh, to our parish and for being behind the the. the the computer or the, the iPad or the iPhone, trying to continue to practice your faith at home. Uh, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. I would like to thank all the kids who have been writing cards and giving ah, yes, cards yes, to yes. all three of yes. us. Yes. Thank you. We will we'll answer. Catechism will send you a card too, but thank you. appreciate that. Thank you so much. Happy thank Easter. You. Happy Easter.